Hello Moves drivers, welcome to the Android Google driver training. Today we're gonna to go over how to use the Moves driver app on your Android Google phone. This training is brought to you by the co-founder and CEO Amir Gorbani, that's me, and I'm excited to show you how it all works. Let's go ahead and jump in. Here you're gonna see two screens. On the left hand side is the Moves operator app that your company uses to track all rides and the dispatch screen here. On your right side is your Android phone. This is what the Google Play Store looks like and here's where we'll start to download the Moves application. First step is to search for the Moves, M-O-O-V-S space driver application and we'll go ahead and search. As you can see here, there's the Moves driver app. We'll go ahead and click it and then make sure we install the Moves driver application. As soon as we've installed it, let's click open. This is what the home screen for the Moves Driver app looks like. Let's go ahead and click sign in. And here we'll enter our mobile phone number to sign in. As soon as you've entered your number, go ahead and click sign in. And your phone will receive a code. We're going to want to enter this code now into the area you see there. As soon as you now enter that code, you can enter it here. You'll see here, as soon as we put our last character, the app will automatically sign you in and now you're signed into the Moves Driver app. Here is the home page of the Moves Driver app. You'll notice that if you don't have any assigned trips, you won't see anything in your driver app. Let's now see what it looks like when your operator assigns you a trip. As soon as you're assigned the trip here, in this case, Eric, you're assigned the job and your driver app, you can go ahead and pull down to refresh. Here you are, the driver app, the trip. As you can see here now, the trip has loaded. What you'll notice in the driver app is that you can't start the trip because the trip time is too far in advance. You'll notice that you won't be on the screen until you actually start the trip. Let's go ahead now and fast forward. Now you see that if the trip time is within two hours, we can go ahead and start our trip. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we start the trip. We'll always want to make sure that we allow the Moves driver app to access our location. But remember, the Moves application will never disclose your location until you start the trip. Let's go ahead and take a look. Click allow while using the app. And then let's click start again. Make sure we click allow all the time. You'll see here, we still are not seen on the map because we haven't started the trip. Moves respects the driver locations and we will not display you on the map until you start the trip. Let's go ahead and start the trip. Click start trip. As soon as you start the trip, you'll see that the, the dispatch screen will display your location to the dispatch team. You'll also notice here that the dispatcher gets an automated update with your ETA to the pickup and your status will update to on the way with your passenger receiving an automated text. Wow, that's awesome. No need for you to do all the extra work and no need for anyone to contact you. As soon as you arrive at your pickup location, we'll go ahead and click I arrived at pickup. Now you'll wait until the customer comes outside. You'll be in the car and as soon as the customer comes outside, you'll also then board them and before you go, you'll click go to drop off. Look, we even updated on location when you had clicked I arrived. Let's go ahead and click go to drop off before we put our foot on that gas brake. Now we are heading to the drop off and we mark your status as POB and we even update our dispatch team with our ETA and we're on our way to the drop off. Now we've arrived at our drop off location we let our customer out and we can now process the finishing of the trip. One bonus feature is that the customer will have access to the driver location here. The customer now sees you on the map. Now back to finalizing the trip. We'll go ahead and click I arrived at drop off location and we can mark end trip depending on when our company wants us to mark this. Whether we get back to the garage, back to home, or right after the passenger is out of the car. We'll click end trip at this point. We'll process the trip by marking the pickup date and time. We'll mark the end time and we'll add any closeout notes. 
Here, we'll then finalize by submitting. And what you'll notice is your location is now gone. As we mentioned, moves respects your location. So no matter what, you'll never be seen on the map. And also, we'll show you the customer app. As you can see here on the customer app, your point on the map is gone and you're protected because you've ended the trip and there's no more upcoming trips. We thank you for watching this training video. We appreciate you and thank you for using Moves. Have a wonderful day.